Well, Bobby, uh, George Voinovich decided he wasn't going to run for re-election in mid-January. And I looked around and saw what was happening to the Ohio economy, saw what was happening to the nation's economy, looked at some of the policy proposals they were coming up in Washington with, which uh, hurts our economy, hurts jobs, and uh, realized that I could make a difference. I served in Congress for 12 years. I was able to work across the aisle and get things done for Ohio families. And given all the problems we've got and given the direction that the country's going, I think it's time to step forward. As you travel around the state, what are you hearing about uh, health care and health care reform? I just got done with a three-day RV tour of North Central Ohio. And we were out and about talking to people about a lot of issues. Health care kept coming up. In fact, I went to one of these tea parties and was talking about the federal spending and the concerns I have there. And a lot of the questions I got afterwards were from people who came up to me to talk about health care. And it was seniors who were worried about rationing, that they're not going to be able to make a decision with their doctor, that someone's going to make a decision for them based on their age or some other reason. I've heard from families who want to be sure they can keep the health care they have, but also use innovative programs like health savings accounts. I've heard from small business people who say, hey, there's going to be this federal cookie cutter, one size fits all program for health care. It doesn't work in my business. I got my people covered under an innovative plan that works for them and their families. Let me keep doing that rather than charging me additional taxes. I've also heard from people in the business community, small companies and large companies, who are saying, if we have this additional tax or the additional mandates, then we're not going to be able to hire as many people and may have to let some people go. So it's going to hurt jobs, which, of course, to me is the top issue in Ohio. How do we do things that are going to bring jobs back to Ohio? So, yeah, I'm hearing a lot about health care. People are nervous about it. Uh, if you look at the proposals in Washington that are circulating right now, all of them cost more. So this notion that it's going to get the cost of health care down just is not accurate. The Congressional Budget Office has said that these programs will cost anywhere from about a trillion dollars to $1.6 trillion more over the next 10 years, not less. So it doesn't get us at the cost issue. We do need to address health care. We need to be sure people have better access to the system and that we get the cost down. Unfortunately, I don't think the proposal that's currently working its way through Congress does either of those things. Well, the so-called cap-and-trade legislation uh, essentially will put a tax on energy, certain kinds of energy, and in Ohio, unfortunately, we have a lot of the kind of energy that's going to get taxed. So coal is something we rely on for our electricity. Almost 90 percent of Ohioans get their electricity from coal, and those rates are going to go up because of the cap-and-trade proposal. Second is manufacturers uh, are going to be burdened with additional costs because of cap and trade. Well, Ohio's got a lot of manufacturing. So because we're a heavy manufacturing state and because we are a heavy coal user, Ohio's going to be hit harder than other states. And that's going to hurt our economy and hurt jobs. So I'm not for this proposal. I do believe, like most Americans do, we ought to have clean air. There are other ways to do it that are both more effective and efficient, but also more fair for states like Ohio. And what about those who say that you need to pass cap and uh cap and trade for like national security issues. Well, I couldn't agree more that you need to get us away from dependency on foreign oil, but there's a lot better ways to do that. The development of our own resources here in this country, including gas, there's some large gas deposits that we're not currently using, including uh, being sure that we move to nuclear power, which is something that would be American nuclear power. Here in Ohio, we have two nuclear power plants, but we haven't built a new plant in over two generations. So it's time for us to go ahead and get the nuclear power plants going again, deal with the disposal issue. You can deal with a lot of it, which is reprocessing the fuel. And let's be sure that we are less dependent on foreign oil. We also should move forward with the green technologies. I'm all for being sure that we have solar energy and wind energy as part of the mix. But it's such a small part of electricity now, only about 2%. So in the meantime, we've got to rely on where you get the base load of energy. And that tends to be coal, natural gas, and again, going to nuclear power. You know, Congress passed a stimulus bill, and one of the arguments was that we can't just do nothing. Uh, it would be worse. But what, what's uh, your perspective on the stimulus? Would you have voted for it, and do you think it's working? Uh, the stimulus package that Congress passed was the wrong way to go. I am for a stimulus package. I was for one when they passed it. But I was for one that had a lot less spending and a lot more tax relief, particularly for small businesses, to be able to keep the people they have and hire new people. If we had done that, it would have been timely. It would have happened right away. People would have gotten the relief that they need right away. It would have been targeted to private sector job creation. And it would have been temporary. It wouldn't have been raising the, the federal budget. Instead, what Congress did was to spend a lot more money. And a lot of that money is simply growing federal programs. 
as you know, the stimulus package uh, has been said to be working by a lot of people uh, in Congress. However, uh, in Ohio, we've lost over 100,000 jobs since the stimulus package was signed into law. And most of the spending hasn't even occurred. So to the extent the economy is showing some signs of life somewhere, uh, and it's not doing much of that in Ohio, but to the extent it is, it's hard to say that it's some stimulus since only about 15% of it has been spent, maybe, maybe less. Um, so I would have done a stimulus package. I think it was important to give the economy a jump start, but I would have focused on it being timely right now, targeted to job creation, and temporary so it doesn't increase our deficit and debts.